Georgie from Greenpoint Florist, uh, owner operator, and this is uh, Rocky. At the moment, we're in the middle of moving Greenpoint Florist from Graylin to Ponsonby. So it's a big move, but an exciting one. Super lovely catching up with Brenda. That was really awesome. You know, resin color expert in my shop to talk through the colors, of course, and also just making sure that I'm choosing the right products. And this color, the resin black forest, it's such a beautiful backdrop with the flowers. It just looks so gorgeous. In two days, I'm moving shop, and so we've got two days to paint. Um, I should be concerned, but I'm not because I've got the amazing tradie girl, Tegan, who is going to come in and get us moving, get it painted and we're gonna be open next week. Just like that, easy, no stress, no sweat. <laughs> wow, so this is the new space, I really love it. I'm excited to get rid of the black and white. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, we're gonna have some fun in here, it's nice and big. Too. Uh, you can see all the texture on there. When I fill these holes, I can continue this texture so you don't know, have like a nice flat space here. Is this achievable? Can we do this in two days? Yeah, definitely, let's get started. So I think I'm going to start with the ceilings first. If they were in nice, good condition, I'd just start with a resin interior paintwork cleaner. But they're quite well worn, so I'm going to give them a really good sand before I start painting them. So if I had to pick one thing that was going to require a little bit more tension, it's definitely the walls. Uh, they're all different textures. We're going to start with our cloth and we're going to give the floor a nice good clean. And we're going to lay down our tape against our skirting boards. So any paint that does fall off the skirting board won't get on your floor. It's cool showing Georgie how to prep the walls. So sweeping off any extra filler and then it's all done. As easy as that. Starting off with our holes, using the end of our blade to push any of the high edges in so that we get a smooth surface to then stick our filler into. Then I'll go through and sand it all. If we were going from light to dark or dark to light, I'd use a resin quick dry primer undercoat to reset the wall colour. Since these walls are of similar tone, I'll be using a resin interior paintwork cleaner and they'll be ready to paint. Tegan, I've got all these plants which we use to display the flowers. I was thinking it'd be really cool to be able to do them in different colours that will just contrast against these beautiful dark green walls. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I'll start off by sanding them and giving them a clean with the Resin Interior Paintwork Cleaner and then you can go ahead and paint them. Yeah, working with Georgie's really great. She's so keen to get into it and learn how to do it all herself, learning some new skills. It's really nice to see her vision for the space and slowly seeing it come together with her. Wow, Tegan, you've done such an amazing job. I'm so pleased. I really loved the space, the high ceilings. The resin space coat flat in eternity looks really great up there. And coming down onto the walls and the space coat low sheen and that black forest, they really go nice together. What you've achieved in a few days is pretty spectacular. I'm beyond happy, so thank yeah. you. Now it's over to us. Now we need to move in. Of course, I needed to bring my green velvet curtains. I kind of feel like no, it's home. I keep on calling it home by mistake. It means that I've made it my own. The colour choice has been perfect. Like, it's there, but it's like just really the backdrop to the flowers, which is actually the most important part. It's, um, it's created the atmosphere. The romance is there that I wanted. I think I might have said that. <laughs> but it's true, you know, it's like, yeah, it feels really, the colours are perfect. Yeah, happy. 